This is GGP-TV, a production of the Georgia Green Party. I'm Bruce Dixon. Although American drones are flying in and American bombs falling from Libyan skies, indiscriminately killing Libyan civilians, President Obama assures us that this is not war. And of course, Libya's oil has absolutely nothing to do with it. To cut through the lies and distortions of corporate media and our own government officials, a fact-finding delegation of U.S. citizens, including former Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney, traveled to Libya in May and early June. They are eyewitness Libya. On June 30th, we spoke to Lucy Grider Bradley, a member of the Eyewitness Libya team and a longtime fighter for human rights in her Atlanta home. Um, all right, uh, we're talking to Miss Lucy Grider Bradley at her home here, surrounded by some of the paintings of Dr. Margaret Burroughs. Um, uh, Miss Grider Bradley has been an activist and a fighter for, for human rights for a good while now. Um, say. Tell us about yourself, lady, please. My name is, as you said, Lucy Greider Bradley. I am a mother and a grandmother. And I returned from Libya a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, actually, June 12th. Today's June 30th, I think. That's correct. They say that uh, there are airstrikes going on that are hitting military targets. Did you see any airstrikes or any military targets? I don't know how I could clearly define a military target, so let me just say that um, on the my second day in Libya, which was their Sabbath, a Friday, we uh, our program was scheduled to visit um, some displaced persons, and as we were about to leave the hotel at about five minutes to eleven in the morning on Friday, their Sabbath. That was the worst boom I have ever heard in my life. And so we all ran for the door of the hotel and saw in the distance billowing white clouds of smoke that reached the height of uh, the tallest building in the horizon and then started to turn black. We later learned that that was a bomb that was dropped on the place where a bomb had previously dropped and killed Brother Lida Muammar Gaddafi's son, three grandchildren, and caused lots of damage to uh, other homes in the area. So that, I don't think, was a military target. That was clearly a residential area. We were also able to visit a couple of the houses that were damaged from that bomb. There was a 30, we had visited that site, <clears throat> excuse me, previous to this drop, this bomb, and had seen a 30-foot hole in the middle of a family room. Um, I understand you visited some hospitals. We went to one hospital. I went to one hospital. Uh, what did you see the there? Delegation, and we were able to see and listen uh, through an interpreter, of course, to many victims of uh, bombings. People who were going about their daily business. Uh, one example in particular... Were these military people or were no, they civilians? No, these were civilians. These were civilians. Old people? Children? Children. And young men. All of the people that we uh, interviewed through an interpreter were young men. And you know what's so disturbing about that visit, as I recall it? Every single one of them asked the question, why? Why is Obama doing this to us? And I don't have an answer. There are reports that dark-skinned Libyans are being singled out, called mercenaries and foreigners. Uh, by the forces that are being aided by the United States and NATO and that uh, black Libyans are being lynched in the street and living in fear. Um, did you see or hear anything about that uh, set of circumstances? Sadly, we visited the home of a family where a dark-skinned Libyan uh, was lynched. 
we talk to the brothers and we talk to the mother. And it is so sad to hear the account, but someone called this young man's home and his, one of his younger brothers answered the phone. And through an interpreter, he told us that the voice at the other end of the line said, we have your brother. Now remember, they used this young man's cell phone to call his family. We have your brother, and this is what we're going to do to him, and you can watch it on Al Jazeera TV, is what we were told. And, is and it the world saw that lynching on Al Jazeera television. Uh, so how long have you been back from Libya? How many days now? Uh, I came back on the 12th of June. And it's the 30th now. Yes. Um, yesterday, uh, tell us uh, where you were yesterday morning in downtown Atlanta. A group of concerned uh, black people mostly who are bringing the Dignity Delegation to Atlanta held a press conference yesterday uh, at Congressman Congressman John Lewis's office. Your congressman? John Lewis is my congressman. I live in the 5th District in Atlanta. And what was your message to John? Stop bombing black people. Stop bombing Africa. Uh, use your influence, please, to get to the Congress and to the President and ask them to stop bombing Africa. People in America, as a senior citizen, one of the things I said in the meeting after the demonstration was that some of the money that we're using to bomb Africans and other people could be used to give senior citizens like me a raise. We haven't had a cost of living raise in, I can't remember if it's four or five years now. Okay. Um, we understand that uh, Congressman Lewis voted against the authorization to use force, but for the funding for the Libyan operation. Um, and, and we also understand that um, some members of the delegation actually met with the congressman yesterday. Uh, what came of that? Were you part of that and what came of it? I was, I was a part of that and the congressman assured us that uh, he is not, he's against all war, that he is uh, for peace uh, and gave this news release, if you can see the headline on here, which essentially says what I just said in all of these words. Um, yeah. But he also says on page two that he voted for the bill, and I'm not going to quote what he said, but if I were translating paragraph one at the top of this page, it essentially says, yes, I voted that way, but I was confused about what was in the bill. <laughs> well, John Lewis is, uh, he has been in office uh, a long while now. Um, so, what do you think of the prospects of people in Georgia visiting some of their other members of Congress? Well, I think that people who stand for peace and not war should definitely be in touch with their elected officials and let them know what their desires are. A lot of times, in my experience, we elect people, put them in office, and then we go on about our business, and they're free to do what they choose. Sometimes they don't know what our desires are. So I think yesterday was a good day. Uh, Congressman Lewis now knows that there are a lot of people who stand for peace and not war. So if any other members of Congress or their staffs are watching this, what have you got to say to them? Peace, not war. Educate our children in the U.S give senior citizens like me my due. I mean, I paid into Social Security. I worked in corporate America for a lot of years. And I am barely uh, broached the poverty level now. All right. Lucy Grider Bradley at her home in Atlanta. Bruce Dixon for Black Agenda Report. Thank you. Come here, Atlanta's Lucy Grider Bradley, along with former Atlanta Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney and the rest of the citizens' fact-finding delegation to Libya at Eyewitness Libya's Atlanta Report Back, 4 p.m. Sunday, July 24th, at the Shrine of the Black Madonna, 
936 Ralph David Abernathy Drive in Atlanta. That's 4 p.m. Sunday, July 24th at the Shrine of the Black Madonna, 936 Ralph David Abernathy Drive in Atlanta. You don't have to take CNN's, Fox News's, or the Atlanta Journal-Constitution's word for it. That's Eyewitness Libya's Atlanta Report Back, 4 p.m. Sunday, July 24th, at the Shrine of the Black Madonna, 936 Ralph David Abernathy Drive in Atlanta. For GGPTV, the Georgia Green Party, and BlackAgendaReport.com, I'm Bruce Dixon.